Hello guys, over the next weeks, I'm going to give you some advice of what I've seen over the last year on the way interviews have been conducted. It remains the same, but I just want to give this piece of advice because every year I have to give the same advice and I just want to drop it in a video. So the interview process, once you get an interview, let's say you already have an interview and you're on the call, on the meeting for your interview. There are different parts. There's the part where you meet in private in one specific room with the program director, the faculty, the resident that's going to interview you. But it's also a time where you share the screen with four or five participants or five interviewees that are waiting with you. And usually there is also a program coordinator in that room, that share room with you and with the others. Now, she's not there just because she wants to be there. She's also taking notes. She's also seeing who is the best candidate of them, who is the one that acts the most normal, who is the really the one that is interested in the program, not just there to practice interviewing, not just there to, to waste their time to because they, they got an extra interview and they want to get more and more practice. So take this opportunity with the same interest as if you will talk to a program director, because this person, this program coordinator is going to give information to the director. And it could be to benefit you or to really take you off the, the whole picture. So a small talk, a small talk. Many people um, don't take advantage of this opportunity. First of all, during this time, activate your camera, a smile, talk. Even if they say, oh, guys, you can you can turn off your camera, you can put yourself on mute, don't do it. Take this opportunity to, to try to, to talk to the coordinator, to, to bring up some of your qualities. Uh, first of all, that you are a normal person, that you can talk, that you have some level of English. So you can just start by just doing a small talk. How are you doing? How are things going during this match cycle? Um, I'm pretty sure you're busy. Thank you. Thank you for taking time for us. And what is the uh, what are the activities that the residents like to do in this area? Um, what do they do together? Uh, where does they live? How does they move around? Do we need a car? Do we need um, do we need to, to go very in advance to the area to know the area? What do you recommend? You can ask the, the old technique of saying, what do you recommend to give them the importance of a person that knows the area? You can also tell them about your, your interest. Oh, I, I really like Chinese food. I hope there are Chinese restaurants around the area. I really like to run in the mornings. I hope there is a, a running trail around the hospital or around the... Uh, the residential areas. Um, what do you guys do on the weekends um, with the residents? Or one more thing is something that is missing in residency programs is someone that organizes team building activities um, in the interest to, to create a more, um, how to say, more friendly, program in a more connected program you could say hey um, i'm really i really like to to do team building activities how do you guys do it where do you guys go for retreats that's called retreats when the residency program organize a team building activity and take them to i don't know a park or a uh, the mall or or a specific resort to just spend the whole morning talking or just getting to know each other and you could say, I, I like to organize picnics for, for team building activities. I, I think it's very important that the residents get to know each other. Just say that seriously. This is what we need. Most people, most smart people that become doctors lack social interaction or lack, lack social skills. You telling that to the program coordinator, you're telling them that you're going to do part of her job and that you know how to connect with other people. So you could be seen by her as a person, oh, this person will, will be interesting to have around. Overall, 
make sure you use this time to talk to her as a person. Don't turn off your camera, don't turn, mute your, your microphone, even if they say to do so. Also, don't complain about the qualities or of the state where the program is. I have heard of people saying, oh, how do you like to live in Chicago? It's very cold, right? I, I really don't do well in cold temperature, cold climate. I am more of a sunny, tropical area. I don't know. I don't think I will do well in Chicago. So then why are you applying to Chicago? Why are you here? Don't be over uh, emphasizing about your interest on doing a fellowship because opposite to common belief programs are looking for more primary care doctors to stay in the program or to stay in the area as primary care doctors than to have another person that at the end of residency is going to apply for fellowship and leave the area leaving them without a person that they train for three or four years with an empty spot. So don't emphasize your interest for a fellowship. Emphasize your interest to complete residency program and maybe become a primary care doctor, a hospitalist, a um, outpatient doctor for the area, not to leave. And, and lastly, for, for the program coordinator talk part, if you have any relatives around the area, say that say that you have a relative that lives very close and for you family is very important and that's why you're applying to the area because that's another thing that they are looking to to show that you have ties to the area because if you finish the program there in three or four years it's more likely that you will stay around there because you have a family member that lives close so mention that use this opportunity wisely use this opportunity also in the room not to talk just to the program coordinator but maybe you can also talk to the other participants where are you guys from um i see a face from from uh, pakistan i see a person that uh has a guitar in the background so you uh, maria do you play the guitar wow that's super cool i wish you i hope we we can end up in the same program and you play the guitar i play the uh saxophone so we can practice together or um, what about you, Rakesh? What 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 do you like to do? Uh, why do you chose to come to to Chicago? Um, oh, because you like fishing. I love fishing too. We should do that together. Hopefully, we end up together in the same program. So, yes, it's hard. It's hard to 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 try to show these skills, especially in a time of stress and pressure like this, but. This is your only chance to match. Think about that. This, this could be the only chance you have to match. So try to use it to the best you can. This is just for the part that you are in the share room with the coordinator and with the other applicants, if that's the case. But that has been the case in most, um, most programs that have to interview eight, nine people a day. They, they separate you in rooms with four or five applicants and the coordinator takes care of you. So think about what I just say and maybe use it to your benefit.